Good. Good. Again. Good. Again. Ah, good. Again. Ah, <laughs> excellent. There he is. Shoot him. your head now. In my new book, it is many years later that the three musketeers return to Paris. By this time, they are no longer young. It's true they lost the battle with the Arabs in North Africa, but they fought bravely nonetheless, with honor. This is the last regiment. Today they hardly recognize their poor city, overrun with the starving and homeless of France. They have returned from years of service to discover their king has become an oppressor of the poor. And the leaders have taken all the money. Portos, known as the Hercules of France, is the first to pour out his wages to the hungry, for his heart is as big as his waist. Then D'Artagnan and the others follow, even Count Aramis, the warrior priest, whose destiny will lead these musketeers to their most famous battle. I believe you're being watched, Your Majesty. Ah, he has seen us. Should we wave? No. And if the posture is correct, it won't be necessary to smile either. Your Majesty. May we present to your keeping the very latest in weaponry. It has two barrels, Your Majesty. One on top of the other. The throne will improvise. <laughs> what kind of man could possibly shoot a bird in a cage? This is hateful. Spoiled brat. His father would turn in his grave. I don't recall inviting the musketeers. It seems your mother recalled them from North Africa. I thought the musketeers fought to the death. We tried very hard to be killed, Your Majesty. First we were 600 against 10,000. The Arabs just poison arrows. Stairs and ambushes and stakes which are hidden beneath the ground and we weren't killed. So we fought until dark and all through the night, but we still weren't killed. By now we were only a hundred and they were still two thousand. Then we tried again to be killed. Tanyan and Aramis, they fought like demons. Only we still weren't killed. Most of our men are birds eat. It's not our fault the Arabs could not kill us. We return with the last of the musketeers. Perhaps you'd like to give a feast in their honor, Your Majesty. But they were defeated in battle. They could not defeat the Arabs in North Africa, Your Majesty. But they may hasten the defeat of your enemies in France. The Duke would have to pay for it. And I shall invite Valier. But of course. You won't forget us either, will you, sir? I forget nobody.
If you cross him, he'll kill you on any excuse. Well, let him. Because this has gone too far. Papa, all he wants is me. Oh, no. No, no. You will not marry into royal servitude. You are a Fouquet. And we marry who we wish. Now, the king may answer to God, my daughter, but you will answer to me. Yes, Papa. Again, you have nothing to confess. Nothing at all. Impure thoughts. Hatred toward the gods. The one who whistles. Can't very well give you penance. Wait a minute. But this is yours, is it not, monsieur? Not bad for someone who hasn't seen such things in a very long time. Tell me, do you consider this God's work? In whose image was this picture painted? For what purpose? I did it for myself. Vanity is a sin. I give you five Our Fathers and six Hail Marys. I cannot go to the feast. You must tell Athos, I have nothing to wear. Forty suits I had made while we were gone, and none of them fit. I'd say. Well, I hate to be fitted by Taylor, so I sent Mouston in my place. And look what he did. I lost 60 pounds. The fitting made me nervous. Come on, Portos, you must have something to wear, well-dressed man of Paris. Give me one more chance, master. I'll sell two halves together. Come on, Porthos. Athos would be glad to see you no matter what you wear. <sighs> the civilian life. He looks like a fat organ grinder's monkey who's lost his organ. Aristide, Gilbert, Montesquieu, Michel, I should have been there. You had your duties here at home, General. I would prefer to have been with my men. Hold on. What about the men in front of you? More wine? Athos, what has happened to you? I made a big mistake. I fell in love. Mistake? That's a blessing in any form. She is far younger than I. Good. You're wise and worldly. A fair exchange. Also, the king wishes to marry her. Oh, well, then he's the man to keep her. Are you going to survive a hundred battles and a thousand scars to be smothered by a skirt? No, I'm going back to battle. I'm joining the new army in Algiers. Stay away from Algiers. They don't fight fair as we do. Does our king fight fair? Atos, the king will have his way with this woman or no man shall have her ever. That's a painful reality. You can still see her, but as a friend. <laughs> uh, well, there's one thing I know for sure. What's that? Come with us tonight, see her with the king through the eyes of a jealous man. I'm already jealous. Well, then you will cease to love her. <laughs> Good. Thank you, you've persuaded me. To see her again? No. To never see her again that I might love her forever. Does she know you're going to go off and get yourself killed? I have forbidden myself to speak to her. Then I shall tell her for you. No. I think he looks like a sausage without its casing. I think it looks like a pig. Wait just a minute. Is that a musketeer's ring? Looks like it to me. It is the ring of St. Augustine, yes. Where'd you steal it, Monsieur Chubbs? Did you take it off a dead man? Didn't you hear me? I asked you, did you pilfer that from a corpse? I will check the movement of my sword. My sword tells me things, you see. Like what? <laughs> but when it falls like this towards my knee, it means I'm liable to sprain my ankle if I get up too quickly. When it flips over on its side like this, 
often means a wound bad enough to scar. Like this means it's going to rain. And when it falls like this, oh, I can be expected to march up to the surgeon from the field and to lie in a sick bed for weeks. Quite so. What's it saying now? It's not worth it, old friend. Or to host their green recruits. I will let it speak for itself. Hey! Hey! Oh, my. Oh, dear. Spare me, Lord, please. Here, here! By orders of Her Majesty the Queen, I am seeking Count Aramis de Eublery. What is it? The Queen is ill and commands you to her side. Heaven will have to wait for you, gentlemen. <laughs>